Yeah, I'm cracked up, but it's time for... Oh, I got it, I got it, get out of the way, man, one more! Ah. Crack, bam, slam, destroy. Oh. Whew. Oh my god! I'm being filmed. What am I doing with this on my face? Uh oh, has it been? Yes, Dennis, I will tell him uh, about next week's uh, John Size. Uh... No, that's the week after, isn't it? Okay, I'll tell him about Thursday Comics anyway. Okay, bye. Once again, coming to you live on tape from a secret undisclosed location hidden somewhere deep in the bowels of downtown St. John's comes in the Library of Graphic Literature with your host, me, Wallace Ron. Oh. As you can tell, uh, I'm not in the best of health today. I had a some stomach problem which we won't go into but then I thought oh what better way to uh, to uh, cure myself than to do a show and not only do I have a lot of books but I have two weeks worth of books in one giant size episode yay now you think that we only do giant size episodes for uh, Thursday comics and this week is just gonna be a normal one which you should watch um, on Spotify or iTunes or FM Player, all kinds of places, um, with my friend Dennis. Uh, but uh, yeah, this week uh, we got two two shipments in one, and instead of waiting, I'm gonna dive right in and do two weeks worth in one short go. Okay, let's uh, have a look here. Actually, I think I'm gonna start at the top here. One that, well, I'm going to start off actually with one that I've pre opened <laughs> and with good reason and start to read because it is Brother Voodoo. Do, 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 do. Some great art by uh, Gene Colin, of course. Stories by Len Wein, late Len Wein, and uh, Doug Munch. With some art by Don per Perlin. So, uh, yeah, this is. Uh, I'm more of a fan of the, the Don Perlin stuff that's just from Werewolf, Werewolf by Night. Uh, but yeah, I love the, uh, the Gene Colan uh, stories here, told here. And to be quite honest, that's probably most of the reason I bought the, uh, bought the book in the first place. I mean, come on. Dig that. Fabulous. Gene Colan artwork in black and white and in color, it, it, it would appear. Gene was the Dean. So, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites from this week. Mm -hmm. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Let's get right along here now. So, like I say, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books for today. Eight books. Have you gone insane while you are thinking? Clearly he has. He's in his bathrobe and he's uh, opening books here. Anyway, speaking of opening books here, I have here volume 15 of The Incredible Hulk. Yay! And love The Incredible Hulk, of course. And these are the ones, the Roger Stern ones. Oh, John Byrne wrote one, apparently. Oh, yeah, the annual. This is that one. Okay. Uh, oh, he wrote, uh, in, Carmine, uh, and in terms of pencilers, most, mostly Sal Buscema, but there's a Carmine Infantino and a Steve Ditko mixed in with all this. With some great uh, inking by Alfredo Aquila on the, uh, on the Ditko. Stuff so it's uh, <laughs> makes it look so unusual. So 
person. You know, beautifully drawn, but with that little bit of a, with that hint of a, I don't know, it was El Mugro, it? Oh. What's going on here? What is going on here? Mm -hmm. I think it's two in one. Are we looking at two? Yes, we are looking at two. Okay. Let's have a look at the other one then. Okay, let's see. You can tell that he came out a mile away anyway. <laughs> and he is inking. Okay, Sasquatch, okay. Pretty cool anyway, yeah. So, for you Ikela fans out there, have a look at this one. For you Sal Busema fans out there, check it out. The totally serviceable art of Sal Busema. Oh, and here's the Ikela inks. Beauty, beauty. And on we go. So yeah, a wide range of, uh, of choices there for you. Latest Hulk. Okay. Oh. oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah, not feeling the best today at all. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at this omnibus here for. This week and this week it is Kazar the Savage. But yeah, uh, we had two decent covers. It was both taken from classic images, so I went with this one. It's funny, I always kind of like Kazar was, was like a, a more far cooler Tarzan than what he was, especially with that. Uh, Great uh, uh, saber tooth tiger of his, but uh, yeah, absolutely stunning artwork in this one too. By the way, and I do believe where is it? Well, written by Bruce Jones, Mike Carlin, Brent Anderson, and Jerry Bingham, with art by Anderson, Brent Anderson, Gil Kane, Amanda Gil, Val Merrick, Paul Hall, uh, Bob Hall, and Paul Neary. Monty, okay. So yeah, yeah. A wild array, wild array of of artists involved here. But yeah. But yeah, I always like kind of like to. There was always something about Kay's there that that I always loved, right? Oh yeah, and this is the. Uh, I do believe. Uh, the Gil Kane one was the. Tales of Zabu, which is kind of cool. <laughs> but, uh, like I say, great, great art by, uh, by Mr. Anderson. Oh, this is a heavy one, too. So, yeah, great art, good stories. Something you gotta check out. And Shanna, his the love of his life. Yeah, great too. Great art. And damn cool stories. Well, Bruce Jones, I mean, come on. But yeah, check it out. See what you think of it. And, uh,. Get back to me and tell me whether or not you think I've gone insane like liking <laughs> liking something. But yeah, check it out. It's well worth it. Oh, it's a hefty bug. It's a it's a heavy bugger. Oh, oh. down you go. Whew. Now, now this is one that uh, in my new capacity is. Manager of Downtown Comics, the most easterly comic book store in North America, and surely one of the greatest. Um, I do the ordering for us, and uh, and uh, I screwed myself this time. <laughs> I was uh, looking through the Dark Horse orders, and I 
passed over Usagi Ojimbo number nine and looked at it and said, oh, I must already have that. Look behind. As you can see, I didn't. It was only after the order went to the final order cutoff that I realized my mistake. And uh, so I had to buy this on the, the open market. And thankfully, uh, uh, my good buddy, Dennis, stepped in and he got me a copy. Yay, Dennis! And I think this is one of the earliest ones in terms of the numbering that I've gotten. It's 90 out of, I can't even remember how many there are in this series. Uh, in terms of how many the print. But it's, it's the lowest one I've gotten. Now this one has not only some great uh, Usagi Ojimbo, but there's a bit of turtles involved in this too. So you got a little bit, a little bit of both here. So, uh, the crossing, yeah. By Leard. Art and story by Peter Leard, which is kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's neat to have sort of a little bit of uh, something extra thrown in. But anyway, love Yosa, Yusagi Ojimbo. And apparently they're doing that cartoon on a bit, based, I think, on an ancestor of his, or they've messed it up somehow, but hopefully. Hopefully it will be good because Stan's involved in it and sounds sounds like a weird concept, but it's probably good anyway. But yeah, love Stan Sakai's epic. I mean, this this is one of those comics that goes on and on and on, and yet still stay, manages to stay interesting and fresh. Fresh as a dog's ear. But yeah. Ooh, lots of sketches and color things. So yes, make sure you get it. Don't make the same mistake I did. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're really uh, oh, get through them here now. Oh. No. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. We got something from Matt Kent. <clears throat> Called Ether. Apparently, it's as it says here, uh, Dave Rubin on, on the art. Uh, interdimensional explorer Boon Diaz, a brilliant scientist from Earth, enters the magical world of ether, stumbles onto a great responsibility that takes him through the center of volcanoes, deserts full of living mummies and sphinxes, and a bizarre fairy force, all leading toward final climatic battle for the fate of both worlds. Doom, 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 doom. But yeah, the. Uh, Picked this up because the artwork and it is pretty cool. And uh, and like I say, Matt Kent, Matt has rarely steered steered me wrong. So I had to get it. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? You know you want it. <laughs> now let's have a close look up on on that said artwork. A guy who can tell a story and without losing you too he has great panel designs but you're, you're never left asking yourself where do I go next shows you the power of great visual storytelling so yeah check it out ether the ether bunny <laughs> there we go that looks nice now doesn't it okay Oh my god. Oh. Well, we'll zip through a couple here pretty quickly. Oh, it's uh, sunny on and off here today. Oh, I'm starting to see little drops of rain on the window there, so maybe maybe it's about to rain. Yesterday, the day before, we're gorge here. <laughs> Absolutely gobsmackingly gorge. And uh, well, we're going to hit a, a rainy patch, but you know, we're big, big folks. We can we can handle a little, little bit of uh, rain without getting our knickers in a twist. I've, I've 
face worse weather. <laughs> that is in fact possible. <laughs> And next up comes another great one from, uh, uh, from Dark Horse. Actually, there's three Dark Horses in a row. And we end up, yeah, actually, this is the last Dark Horse for with the Neil Gaiman Library. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Love Neil, Neil stuff, of course. Now, this has, I mean, these I, I'll have in the smaller editions and all that, but I just... When I seen this come out, it's just like, oh yeah, I gotta collect them in this really, really cool set. So you have Snow Glass, Apples, The Problem of Susan, Only the End of the World Again, and Creatures of the Night. With fabulous artwork by P. Craig Russell, Colleen Doran, Scott Hampton, Paul Chadwick, Troy Nixie, and Michael Zuli. Love Michael Zuli's work. This is some of my favorite people, actually. Especially Chadwick, Russell, and Zuli, two, three absolute gods uh, uh, of comic book work. I hear rumors that we might even see a concrete collection. Hopefully hardcover and hopefully soon. For those of you who've never read concrete, you should. But anyway, back to Neil, Neil Baby here. Uh, Neil does, I mean, come on, what, what can I say? <laughs> he does great stuff. Um, and he always he, he, he and he has good choice in terms of artists too. I find that the artists usually tend to I'm not sure if he picks chooses them or whatever, but they tend to really work well with said stories. The uh, the graveyard books, for instance, lovely, lovely P. Craig Russell work. And here we go. Let's have a look at some of this. But yeah, Zully, yes, yeah, Zully. But yeah, one you should definitely check out. There's some great art and sketches in the back. But yeah, from the fine, fine folks at Dark Horse. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Check it out. Not only check it out, read it, buy it. Love it. Boom, 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 boom. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I'm still, uh, geez. We, yet, we still got a couple of things left to go here before this day is done. Okay, uh, I'm going to end off with two books, two wonderful books here. Jeez, did I, bet I got a couple of other things, but the, this is probably about the best of the best anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Okay, this is Rusty Riley by Frank Godwin, vo Volume 2 of the Dailies from Classic Comics Press, who do great books, and especially involving Godwin, he's... An absolutely stunning, stunning artist. Uh, to me, his pen and ink work is is second to none. If uh, if you haven't seen anything by by him, run out and pick up something. It's it's so worthwhile. It's like a mixture between I don't know Frank Frank Frazetta, uh, Michael Kaluta, maybe a dash of Wrightson in there and. Uh, What else to throw in there? Just absolutely beautiful, beautiful pen and ink work. That's why I love black and white so much. It's pen and ink. And black and white is is harder to do, I, I think, than, than doing work in color. Because black and white, you're just using one uh, one set of uh, of values. So you've just got black on white, and uh, you know it's just one set of complements, and you really got to work it hard if you. You got lots of colors, and you got a lot to play with, and you know you suggest sky with but a bit of blue or whatever. With uh, when it comes to uh, pen and ink, you gotta show your work. <laughs> so let's have a quick look here at some fabulous, fabulous artwork. 
just killer material. Dig that. I mean, look at those faces, too. Beautifully, beautifully done. Definitely one of one of the masters of, of the form. So yeah, run out and get yourself one of these. Support a, a nice small company doing their best to, to bring us what they can. And now, at long last, we get to the to the book to final for this week, and it is from the Disney Masters Collection, Donald Duck, Jump, Jumpin' Jupiter, dun, 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 by Luciano Botaro. Um, he has a sort of really open style, but it's just absolute madness. I, that's what I like about Botaro's st stories, just just out of control, they, they seem, right? Wally, Wally, imagine quite different in a lot of ways from your North American duck comic, but still worth getting. Uh, I've gotten every, I think just about every one of the uh, uh, Disney Masters, and I'm working my way trying to read through them. And I will. <laughs> but yes, get yourself one of these. Way to go, Fantagraphics. Keeping up the, the good work of bringing some great stuff to us. Wild and Woolly Adventures. Yeah, he has a different... Uh... Now, to me, I'm still a big Don Rosa slash Carl Barks fan, but I mean, there's some of these other artists out there that do have sort of a neat take on the duck. So yeah, check it out. Jumpin' Jupiter. Jumpin' Jehoshaphat. <laughs> Uh, I got that on my mind ever since I seen a post from Joe Matt talking about car car 54 where are you whatever great great thing and I start watching that and I got it on my brain all this week anyways you don't want to listen to a sick old man go on and on about his troubles anyway so I'm gonna go out for a walk now so see if I feel better there like a cup of tea. That being said, um, have a great evening everyone. Um, uh, here actually in, in Canada it's a holiday weekend. It's what we call the May 24th or Victoria Day celebrating the birth birthday of Queen Victoria. Yes we still do. <laughs> but we look at it as just a great a, a great day off at the end of May leading into the summer. So hopefully got the fingers crossed Let's get that sun in here. Okay. Once again, keep on reading. Love your comics. Give them a hug for me today. And once again, thanks for having me over. I love you. Oh my God, I'm being sucked away. Oh, boom, boom. See you later. Ah, oh,